When examining the eyes, again, we're going to start with the size and just the shape of them, the, just the morphology. Are they both the same shape? Are they both round, the pupils? We want to have the uh, measurement in millimeters before and after light was applied to the pupil. So without light, if we measured a four, introduce light, and then the, four, the pupil constricted down to a two, we would say that's a four to two change. Next, what was the change? Was that change from 42 brisk, slow, sluggish? Uh, how was that transition? And then was the transition uh, uh, consensual between both pupils? What that means is if I cover the right eye, the left eye pupil should dilate. If I uncover it, it should constrict. They're consensual, they're both communicating. Again, look at the color of the sclera. Uh, is it yellowed? Is it jaundice? Uh, do we have hyphema, maybe blood trapped in the iris uh, space there? Um, which can happen in trauma. So that's the full examination of the eye. Now going down to the mouth area, if the patient's conscious, have them open up their mouth. Uh, not a bad idea to do a quick Mallon Patty scale. You can take a, back, uh, take a look at the back of the airway. Uh, we're looking for any blood, any swelling. Are there any loose teeth, any obstructions? If the patient is able to, uh, have them roll around with their tongue, feel the teeth. Are there any loose teeth in there? Uh, look at the tongue, see if the tongue was chewed up, any bite marks. Uh, could be suggestive of seizure. You know, if I'm wondering, gee, diabetic seizure, uh, head injury, what happened? Uh, have the patient stick out their tongue, look at the back of the tongue. If it's chewed up, uh, can be suggestive of a seizure. But if they can stick their tongue out, that means their 12th cranial nerve's intact, their hypoglossal nerve is intact, and that's a good sign. So we're inspecting all that inside the oral cavity. Uh, was there a caustic thing that might cause edema later on? So that's really what we're looking for. When it comes to the mouth, we're, think we're thinking about that airway. Is there anything we need to do uh, to address the airway now or prevent the airway from getting worse? 